good morning, good morning. Today is the day I'm going to raise my handlebars on this bike. My old adjustable mount that I had on my last mountain bike, I think I've I'm sure the picture of this before. Um, it's cheapy, I think got it for about £15, pounds, something like that. Um, I did try and fit it a little while back, but it was just um, that part there, between my finger and thumb, it's just too low. Uh, and one of the things I found actually when I've been trying to look online to get one of these is to get that measurement. It's a nightmare, you just kind of get the measurement. A lot of people, um, I'll put it on the ground so it's easy to show. So this measurement here, very hard to get a hold of. Um, you know, when you look at the measurements on uh, of these online, they tell you this measurement, and they tell you that measurement to go around the bars at the top, but they don't tell you the stem height. You know, to go oh, there. You know, so you'd have got no idea what spaces you need. That's my little light there. You've got no idea. Move that in the way, haven't I? You've got no idea. You know what height that is. That you do you know what spaces you might need. As you can see, I've got a few spaces on here until you find out how high that is. So for some reason, a lot of manufacturers just don't tell you this height, I don't know why. This is 45 millimeters. This is, when I've measured it, it seems to be about 35 millimeters. So I've just bought a couple of spaces from Halfords. Tell you what, mind, I'm very impressed how quick they came. I ordered these yesterday, uh, and you said I could pick them up in the shop which is fine, but I've just been to the shops and I didn't want to go back out and you know, expose myself during COVID and stuff. Uh, so, you could do online delivery, like they normally do, you know, half it's always do online delivery, but I'm sure it's about £5 or something normally for delivery, but at the moment they're doing free next day delivery on like anything apart from really bulky items, and I'm thinking, really? Will this come in, you know, come today? Is it going to be free? Yeah, it only costs like four quid for these, and it had div delivered today by courier today, so, right, well, not courier, right, yeah, courier, DH, DHL. So, I'm pretty impressed with that, like, that's pretty good service, I think. Buying a £4 item and having to deliver the next day for free. It's very good. So, thanks for Halfords. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so and hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to put these on. It'll make my old stem, which I've just lost, this one here, it'll make this fit under there. So, fingers crossed. If it doesn't work, then I'll have to buy another stem, another one of these. Yeah, I know there's a few other ways you could do this. I know you could do, you know, you could buy different handlebars with a higher sort of um you know reach on them and stuff but i thought as soon as i already had this you know i've had it for years it seems a bit wasteful just to just to bin it and see if it works see if we can see how it goes and this worked absolutely fine on my last bike I had this for like say about a year i think it was a year and a half on the last bike and it worked absolutely fine so i'm going to put this on now and see how it goes adjustable stem i've actually this is the new one, this is the old one. And I know a lot of you don't like um, these adjustable stems, but this one here worked absolutely fantastic with my old mountain bike. I had it for about a year and a half and it was absolutely fine. So I've actually, when I bought another one, I bought the same make again. So it's the exact same make as that one, which worked absolutely fantastic. I don't want to make that even is actually, FM, FMF Sport. I don't know these, I mean, it could be a, some kind of Chinese, Hong Kong jobby or whatever. It's off eBay this, I'll put all the links to everything I'll buy in the description for you to see. But um, this worked really well with me last day, um, this one worked really well so I thought I'd do the same again. The reason why I've to buy another one for is I made the mistake of not realising the different diameters of the of the top here. Um, not, not that one, sorry, this one. <laughs> this size there. As you can see, that's the one I had before and this is the one for this bike because it's a lot thicker here. And on the side here. Um, this was 20, 25.4 and this one's 38.1, 31.8 1. sorry. Um, so I did try and fit this one originally, but it obviously wouldn't go on because it fit it on there fine. On the height and everything fine, but I'll put some spaces on, but it wouldn't obviously go down the top of there, so I've had to buy this one. I've got the, the front bar off there, I'm just going to rest it on the tyre there and next time, next part is to take this off. So 
And there's the original one that came with the um, the bike. As you can see, a lot smaller than the one I've got, and also non adjustable. It's just the height, really. It's the fact of the just doesn't go up high enough for me. So we'll next, install the new one. So let's see how this goes. Nip that up just to keep all this together, so my shocks don't fall off. And I'll put the front bars on, and then I'll adjust the height once everything's in place, and we'll see how we'll go from there. You hear the crows in the background, but I'm getting told off because I've just filled the feeder up here. You see there that the crows love to eat. Um, I've got a, one on the corner there for the smaller birds, the little green one, if you see it there. And I've got this one here that the crows just love to feed on. And I don't mind feeding the crows, you know, I like crows. I've got the right to eat like anybody else, but I'm getting told off because I'm standing right next to them and they cannot eat it. You hear them? <laughs> hey, <laughs> next door's cut. You leave the birds alone, mind, eh? Yeah? <laughs> so I'll put the screws back in here, but I'll be tightening them up diagonally, you know, so it's equal pressure. And once I get that lined up there in the middle of that, I'll just tighten these up diagonally, like so, just so it evens, the, evens it out well. So don't tighten one bit too much. Tighten this up, tighten this up, and then once I've done that, I'll get the height. I can just say what height I wanted at. The only worry about getting this was this, it was moving further away as well, and I didn't want it moving further away. But by the time I raise it up, it should help. I'll loosen this off, and then just tilt the angle up, get the that height I want. And hopefully, hopefully, once that's the right height, it should be all good. Fingers crossed. Right, folks, there we have it, all done. With me jaunty angle there. Just put my um, hammer head bracket back on here. That's what this is for, just to hold my hammer head back in place. As you can see, it's quite a bit higher than it was before. I know a lot of you are going to hate this because obviously these um, adjustable brackets aren't very light, much liked by people. But if it works, it works brilliant. And I used it on my last bike and it was absolutely fine. I've just tried it there and that's much more comfortable angle rather than the handlebars being down here somewhere. They were about here before. You know, that much. that's going to be much more comfortable that. Much more comfortable. I did forget about the angle of the handlebars actually when I did it in the handlebars. <laughs> the, the brake levers were like up in the air because obviously as you're raising up it's going like that. So I've had to loosen this off again and twist the handlebars back around again. But so far it seems okay. Hope it doesn't fall a bit when I take it on the roads. Time will tell. But I will put the links um, to the to these. Actually I'll put a link to the Amazon one of this because you can buy this on Amazon as well. I only paid about um, £13 for this on eBay, but you can get these on um, on Amazon as well, for about 16 I think they were, something like that. It's more of a branded one, but I know I've had this brand before, you see, so that's why I went for this one, but you can get a different brand, and I'll put that link in the description for you. Um, and like I say, if you want one of these, that definitely makes a difference when you're riding the bike. Uh, if you want a little bit height, more height for your handlebars. As I say, I've used this before, I used that one there for a year and a half, and it was absolutely fine, no problems at all. So... We'll test it out next time I go on my ride and we shall see how it goes eh? Give it a go. So it's a murky horrible day today but got the new handlebars, trying them out, see how they go. Feels better already mine, feels better already. Much better. I just feel more, as you can see I'm more upright. Much better position. Not too upright but much more comfortable. So far, so far, so good. Let's see how we go. But so far, very impressed. So the handle bar so far, so good. Been about nine miles. Seems to be going okay. Feels pretty solid. Nothing's coming down. They haven't broken and smashed. Because things they're only cheap these. I mean, it was only 11 quid something like that I paid on eBay. And uh, these are never very really expensive these. I mean, the last one I got was about 15. And the main reason I got this one. As I said to you before, was the, the brand because the last brand, last one of these I had was, lasted really well, was really good. So I thought we'd do the same again. And so far, so good. Can't complain for like 11 quid. Yeah. Uh, tell what those mud guards don't get my nerves on mind. It's constantly getting clogged up with plates and stuff. You can hear it catching on the wheels going along. Like, all the time. I keep sticking sticks down and blog it and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just too close to the wheel. Maybe my wheels are too big or. Forks are too close to the wheels, I don't know, but 
don't know, maybe it's not suitable for this bike. We shall see. Time will tell. Well, I hope you can still see us because it's getting pretty dark now. Got my light on. And uh, a bit murky and misty now. Anyway, handlebars. Good, very good. Much, much better than before. Much better, much easier to pedal with uh, without having handlebars. Um, you know, too low down, it's just, just so much more comfortable, it really is. So much better. I'll put the links to the um, to the bars, to the bars instead of the bar, the, the bar thing I got. Um, you can get, like I said before, I'll put a link to the Amazon one, um, just in case you don't want to buy the one on eBay. I'll put the link on eBay as well, you can see that one as well. But I know some people might be funny about being, buying eBay stuff, so I know there's one on eBay, and, sorry, I know there's one on Amazon. Then I'll put the link up for you so you can have a look at that. But the last one I had was off eBay. It was okay. And yeah, it might come from China somewhere. I mean, this one didn't come from China, it came from the UK, but originally obviously it could, could have come from China. But then again, all these probably come from China, but it just changed the name. You can see just there how it's just a little bit higher up and more relaxed. And it's only like an inch difference or so height. But it makes it all the difference, all the difference. So thanks for joining us. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.